Hey everybody, Red October. Just a quick video. I meant to do this yesterday, but I wanted to share this news clip that uh, that will play right after this. And uh, you know, I, I think this is a a perfect example of why you should talk to your kids uh, if you see trouble on the horizon or they're hanging around the wrong crowds. Um, you know, I again, this is where society or community lacks in doing the PSA, the public service announcements, and showing kids, this is why you don't do this. This is why putting on masks or Halloween mask, ski mask, or any kind of mask and breaking into somebody's home, because this could be the end result. No matter what you're thinking that, hey, we're going to go in, we're going to rob, whether someone's there or not, and we're going to get away with this, mm -mm, ain't going to happen. You might get away with one or two homes, but you might just pick the wrong house to rob and uh, end up finding yourself uh, regretting it or dead. So I wish that the news, the schools, the police, our community would focus more on showing this as an example, not to ridicule the kids or their family uh, or the person that was involved in the, in the shooting, but to show and say, hey, this is why you don't rob. This is why robbing or breaking into a business or a home is a bad idea. And, but, you know, we don't talk about it. I, certainly, I don't hear about it on the news or from the police department saying, you know, this is why you should not do this, kids. This is why you should not put on a ski mask and break into somebody's home. I think they would probably think that, hey, that's just common sense, but... There's a lot of stupid people out there. And there's people with no common sense. So anyway, <clears throat> this is a PSA, and uh, hopefully it reaches somebody. Right out. ...have been reported there. Back here at home tonight to a deadly encounter in a suburban American neighborhood. Authorities say three teens, dressed in black, wearing masks, broke into a home in broad daylight, but then encountered one of the people who lived there armed with an AR-15 automatic rifle. ABC's Clayton Sandell tonight. Police say it began when 23-year-old Zach Peters woke to the sounds of three masked teenage burglars breaking into this house near Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, I thought it was thunder. It wasn't thunder, but gunfire. Police say Peters used an AR-15 rifle, opening fire and shooting all three burglars dead. Two are juveniles in the range of 16 to 17. One is an adult male, 18 years old. Two of the suspects we are considering armed. One was with brass knuckles, the other one was with a knife. Police say a fourth suspect, Elizabeth Rodriguez, turned herself in and is believed to have been the getaway driver. We're trying to clarify as to why they chose that house. Was it random or was there some other knowledge that the, the suspects had that they chose that house? Prosecutors say Oklahoma law allows for Rodriguez to be charged with three murders, even if she didn't pull the trigger. Those charges have not yet been filed. Oklahoma's Make My Day law allows homeowners to use deadly force in self-defense, but tonight prosecutors have not yet decided if Peters will face any charges. David Clinton. And that's why, folks, you don't break into people's houses, because you just never know. Can't say I feel sorry for them. It is sad that people lost their lives, but I think that society, the school, Parents, organizations out there should do a PSA.